Hey everyone, Overkill's back with another video. Today I have a massive unboxing video from a good friend, Simon Thrum, the LAG Mafia, and the Toy Savages. And this is a trade in progress. He sent me a couple things that he wants me to be on the lookout for for him, and I am looking into those. And this is actually package one of two that I got from him. The second one I bought something off of him, and it'll be here shortly. And when I get it, I'll do a video and show you guys that as well. But this come from a long ways overseas, and it made it pretty safe. And it's sat here for a little while, and I've been backed up doing Marvel Legends reviews and stuff. So I really need to get this open, check it out, and show you some of the awesome stuff that he sent me. So we'll go ahead, cut into this. It looks like everything is wrapped up really nice. He had shared this stuff and asked if anybody was interested. And there was a few things that I wanted. Just because there was some stuff from my childhood I didn't have and stuff. And you may be able to tell a little bit of it. There's quite a bit in here. So, I mean, there's a lot in here. So we'll try to go through it piece by piece and show it off. And hopefully don't cut myself on camera. I'm, I'm sure people would like to see that. It might be talked about if I'm bleeding all over the place. But, you know. Thank you once again, Simon, for having immaculate wrapping on this. I mean, this stuff is well protected. You can see it is a blaster from Power Rangers, and this looks like it's from 2000. This may be Time Force era, and it's not too bad. It needs cleaned up a little. Maybe a magic eraser to help get some of these scuffs and stuff up and clean out the battery terminal and stuff. And It may not work afterwards, but it will still be a pretty nice display piece. So if I do get it working... You know, that's something I may do a future video on to show you the difference after it's cleaned up and stuff. But it's really nice. And the second one was one that I really wanted. And he let me know it was kind of damaged. But it's one of the things from my childhood that I never got. And I think you can, if you're a Power Rangers fan, you might be able to tell what it is already. And it is an original Saba. It almost fits all on camera. And this is some of the damage to the blade. You it's just been well played with. And once again, it's just something I think simple as just clean it up real nice. And it'll really help out. Maybe might be able to order some replacement stickers for it. But it's a project and it's pretty awesome. And I mean, I'm a huge Tommy fan. So... Let's see how this goes. This is going to look really great with my Tommy Oliver collection as well. The next few things I will pull out. That looks like it lit up a little bit. What is this? It's the SPD Morpher. It's on... What did I push a second ago? That is cool. You just hit this. See where did I hit it at? Okay, top, right? You just hit this. And it's SPD emergency. And it tells you whether they're guilty or innocent. That is really cool. And it works. So it just needs probably some new batteries. Because you can hear it a little bit. It says judgment time. So... I don't know if it's... I never had this morpher before. 
so it's interesting it may just need some new batteries or you know it's, it's pretty cool that it still works there we go push this up That's pretty cool. Makes all the different sounds. I'm digging that. I love SPD. Believe it or not, even though it's Disney Air, it is, besides Dino Thunder, Dino Thunder is my favorite Disney Air series. SPD is a very close second. My favorite Ranger was Doggy from SPD. And this coincides with it. And it is one of the SPD blasters. It still works. I think it needs batteries. Um, yeah, it's turned on. But like I said, I've never had this either. So it's pretty cool to add to the thing. That's, that's neat. Really liking that. Not only myself, but my kids. They're huge SPD fans, too. So, oh, this is really nice. And then, we have something in the bag. A few things. Let me do this. It's nice because it's been long enough that I've kind of forgot. So, that actually is a good thing. Oh, I remember now. Speaking of SPD, it fell right in, right in line here is my favorite Ranger, Doggy. And you see his normal and his swap modes here. Both are really awesome. You can see with his powered up swap mode, it does have 100. That's really cool. A little bit of rust on the bolts, but still pretty really great shape considering the age of these we're talking should be it's in the early 2000s up mid 2000 2005 it looks like on the bottom of their feet so that's pretty cool and i do have the lightning collection doggy so these will look nice with the collection as well we have speaking of the disney era we have Trent from Dino Thunder. And he looks in real good shape too. And I still have all of my old Power Rangers from back in the day. From Mighty Morphin all the way up to Turbo. And that's when I backed down on it for a while. And I got back into it a little bit. Around... I'm going to say around, probably around SPD, really, when it was first airing, because my kid, my first kid was born the year that Dino Thunder came out, and when she was about a year old, she got really big into Power Rangers again, and we started, we watched, I remember watching Dino Thunder and SPD around the same time, and we've been watching it again ever since, so I only had that little gap between... You know, I watched a little bit of In Space, and that's when I officially quit Power Rangers was through In Space, and then, so the little bit of In Space through Dino Thunder I missed, but then after she was born, she got back into Power Rangers real heavy, it got us all back into it, so we've been watching it ever since, every season. We have a Lost Galaxy Ranger, which is... The Magna Defender. And he's got a little spinning action on his belt. And this was the season that my youngest, my son Torin, he got into. He would sing the song all the time. He loved Lost Galaxy. He's more into some of the newer seasons now, but he's still, I mean, it's pretty cool. And that looks like that may be it. Unless I'm missing anything. I don't think I am. Let me set it all back up here for you to see. The best I can. 
We've got the SPD blaster. Of course, we've got the figures in the back. We got the SPD blaster. And the SPD Morpher. And then we have, which I'm, I was thinking was a Time Force Blaster. Pretty sure, especially with the symbol on it, it's very reminiscent of Time Force. And without looking it up, I'm pretty sure it's what it is. And then lastly was the OG Saba. All really cool stuff. All well, work really nice in my collection. And I've got a special display on which I set these things up with. So once again, thank you, Simon, for sending these, hooking me up. Really awesome of you. And there will be something coming your way for sure. And thank the rest of you for tuning in. Until next time, I bid you all farewell.